There are three lessons, I think, that we can take from the world of sport, from motorsport, from endurance sport, that apply equally well to the endurance activity of knowledge work. The first lesson is this. We can achieve better results for similar effort, providing we apply that effort in the right place at the right time. Secondly, we need to be disciplined to recover, to take it easy to take a step back, sometimes even when we don't feel like it. And finally, perhaps most importantly, we need to find and follow our own rhythm, rather than always following someone else's. Start to pay attention to when we and our teams are at their best. But we rarely pay attention to rhythms, to the natural variation, often to what our body is telling us. So when your cognitive performance varies by 20% throughout the day, are you aware of that? Are you aware of when you're at your best? About 20% of the population, maybe one in five people of the people in this room, experience that 20% variation as a peak, followed by a valley in the middle, and then a rebound later in the day. You might call yourself an early bird, you'll generally prefer mornings. But regardless of whether you're an early bird, an owl, or somewhere in the middle, you're probably not paying attention to your rhythms. And it's very likely that if you're not paying attention to your, those rhythms, you're limiting your cognitive performance. So each of those three phases has distinct characteristics. The peak is generally the best time for focus, for that analytic, for that productive work, which means doing it in the morning if you're an early bird, later in the day if you're an owl. That valley is a great moment for rest, for recovery and reflection. And the rebound is a good chance for the menial tasks, the switching work, which makes up at least part of most knowledge workers' days. We see consistently with high performers in both sport and business that they work hard, but they recover harder.